He was a true patriot. Bob Patrick fills with pride when he talks about his late father-in-law, Bobby Worthy of Pakalit. Worthy passed away in January. He served four years in the U.S. Navy, a veteran of the Korean War. He had a passion for his, his career in the Navy, and that was probably the biggest part of his life. Worthy was laid to rest with military rights. The American flag draped over his casket was folded with precision by an honor guard and presented to the family. And have that honor guard there to do that, uh, it, it certainly honored a family. Honor guard, attend, hut. The honor guard for Bobby Worthy's funeral was from American Legion Post 28 in Spartanburg. This day, members were holding their monthly rehearsal. What you're seeing is a full military funeral. Firing detail, bugle, folding the whole thing. A full honor guard numbers around 15. At some funerals, they've had to make do with three. And buglers to perform taps are in short supply, too. Sometimes a stand-in has to use a recording. When they're going to present arms, I'm punching the button. Bottom line, the Honor Guard detail needs a larger pool of people to pull from for two main reasons, availability and age. People work, and the funerals are generally Monday through Friday during the day. So although you see a lot of people here today, probably half of them are not available uh, when we need them. And as people get older, it's harder to stay in still and the you know, legs are hurting them or back or something. Post 28 made an appeal in a local newspaper for more volunteers for the Honor Guard. One person came forward, retired doctor and Navy veteran, Mac Davis. I get to put on my old uniform and to do something that might be important to the family of the deceased person. So what other options are there to staff these honor guards? A Legion commander in South Carolina says younger veterans need to come forward. They're going to have to pay it forward, so it's our chance as veterans to say thank you to our brothers.